Hello and welcome to another ICD-11 video. I'm Dr. Islam Ibrahim from the National Center for Health Information and in this video we'll talk about ICD-11 icons. In previous videos we learned how to use the ICD-11 coding tool to report the diagnosis. Let's code this case together. A 20-year-old male patient was diagnosed with non-traumatic epidural hematoma. We start by typing the diagnosis into the search box. We get the search result we want. All we need to do is click it to select the code. Notice that non-traumatic epidural hematoma is coded to or included at non-traumatic epidural hemorrhage. And also notice that the coding tool can be searched using either the American or the British spelling, producing the same search result in both cases. But what are these icons and what do they mean? The ICD-11 coding tool provides coding guidance through five icons. We'll start with the first two icons. When reporting a diagnosis, ICD-11 enables us to describe a condition to any level of detail by combining multiple codes together. This is called post-coordination, and the resulting combination of codes is called a cluster. For example, if we're using the coding tool to record the case of Calasian, we might like to say that it was on the left lower eyelid, and this results in one code cluster. Just like matching your accessories to your outfit, ICD-11 is smart, and the post-coordination options offered under each entity are specifically selected by the coding tool based on the condition you're coding. In other words, post-coordination axes are diagnosis specific, and that's because ICD-11 was developed with the contribution of clinicians from different specialties. When the coding tool displays a plus icon next to a search result, that means post-coordination is available for this entity. If the plus is gray, post-coordination is optional. You can choose to add more detail if you like. If the plus is red, Post-coordination is mandatory, which means the WHO says you must add a particular type of detail when reporting this diagnosis. Now back to our example. If our patient has non-traumatic epidural hem hematoma with coma, then we'd like to add coma to our diagnosis. First, we need to know whether ICD-11 does offer more detail for this entity. So we look for a plus icon beside the entity. And here it is, a gray plus, which means post-coordination is available for this entity and it's optional. To post-coordinate, we can click details or the plus icon. The coding tool opens up this window and to get to the post-coordination section, we click the plus icon. This takes us to the integrated browser for the entity non-traumatic epidural hemorrhage. And here is the post-coordination section. Now we scroll down for the axis where we can find coma. And here it is. We simply click it to add it to the cluster. Now if we scroll back up, we can find our cluster is right there and it's made up of two codes. The first code represents the original condition, non-traumatic epidural hemorrhage, and the second code represents coma. And to save this cluster, we click Select. This takes us back to the coding tool, and we can see that our cluster has been selected. Well done! Back to our five icons. We now understand what the first two icons mean. Optional post-coordination, you can add more detail to your diagnosis, and mandatory post-coordination, you must add more detail to your diagnosis. And you can find out more about post-coordination in another video on this channel. Our next two icons are the J and K icons. And these two icons guide healthcare providers in correctly reporting conditions affecting two important population subgroups. With millions of maternal and perinatal deaths occurring globally each year, the WHO has given special consideration to these two groups of patients 
in the International Classification of Diseases, or the ICD. The aim is to enable the capture and classification of causes of maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality in a consistent and comparable manner from all over the world. The ICD-11 includes a whole chapter of codes for conditions occurring during pregnancy, childbirth, or the perperium. When the coding tool displays the yellow J icon, that means there is an alternative maternal code for this diagnosis. We should select the alternative code when the condition we're coding is considered related to, aggravated by, or complicating the patient's pregnancy, childbirth, or perperium. ICD-11 also includes another chapter for certain conditions originating in the perinatal period. That's the period from 22 weeks gestational age until 7 complete days after birth. The K icon means there is an alternative perinatal code for this diagnosis, and you should select the alternative code when the condition you're coding originated in the perinatal period, even if morbidity or death occur later. The WHO coding guidance states that for children less than 28 days old, the default is to assume that a reported condition developed in the perinatal period, unless documentation states otherwise. Back to our non-traumatic epidural hematoma example. If our patient was a pregnant female, where the diagnosis has complicated pregnancy or was the reason for obstetric care, before selecting this entity, we'd first have to check if there is a yellow G icon beside it. And yes, there is a G icon, and that means there is a maternal alternative for the search result. And to reach that alternative, we either click details or the G icon. The coding tool says there are related categories in the maternal chapter and even offers to take us directly to those codes by a simple click. And here we are. The cluster has automatically been made for us by the coding tool, and it combines two codes. The first code represents diseases of the nervous system complicating pregnancy, and the second code represents non-traumatic epidural hemorrhage. And to sele select this cluster, we click select. This takes us back to the coding tool, and we can see that our cluster has been selected. Well done. What if our patient was a baby younger than 28 days? Before selecting this code, we need to check whether there is a K icon. So basically what we're doing here is asking ourselves, well, is it okay to select the search result or is there a perinatal alternative for this diagnosis that we must select instead? So we look at the right side. And yes, there is a K icon. And that means there is a perinatal alternative code to use in this case. And to reach that alternative code, you can either click details or the K icon. The coding tool says there is a related category in the perinatal chapter and offers to take us directly to the correct code by a simple click. When we click this code, we are taken to the integrated browser for the entity intracranial non-traumatic hemorrhage of fetus or newborn. Click select to save the code. This takes us back to the coding tool and our code has been selected. That's great. So we're now able to decipher two more icons. This one means there is a related category in the maternal chapter for your search results. And this one means there is a related category in the perinatal chapter for your search results. Now to the last icon. This icon means there is a coding note available for this entity. Coding notes are coding instructions that we must read before selecting an ICD-11 code. Let's see that in practice. You want to report a case of multiple fractures of pelvis. So you start by typing the diagnosis in the search box. And you get a match, but look carefully at the side icons. There is a coding note icon, and that means there is important coding guidance to read and follow. Let's click this note icon. The coding tool says that each injury should be coded separately and that we should only use this code, which is a single code for multiple fractures, 
when we don't know the detail of the individual specific injuries. That's why it's really important to read coding notes before we select an entity. We have now discussed all five icons. And let's see what's in our card today before we check out. A gray plus means optional post coordination is available. A red plus means post coordination is mandatory. If a search result has a maternal alternative code, you'll see the J icon. If there is a K icon beside an entity, that means there is a perinatal alternative code for this condition. If there is no K icon, that means you can go ahead and select the search result even for a perinatal case. The green icon means there is a coding node that you must read before selecting this code. Thank you and see you in our next video.